example, I have a lot of things to do. That's why I woke up uh, a bit early. Yeah, the traffic is so bad. George, who do you reckon is the loudest member of the family? We're all very excited to see Dad. Yeah. Oh. Even in the hard time, you and I can weather any storm. Hi everyone, I woke up very early in the morning, like five, and I'm going to Kampala. I can't see you. Look at that. It's really heavy on my back. Oh, it's bad. You're taking the dogs out? Mm. Bye. Bye, I love you. Love you. Go for it. several things I want to go and do in Kampala. I want to take the, vet, the dogs to the vet and then go and pick some stuff which Emily already sent when she was in the UK, bikes for the kids and then I will also check Nira. So uh, yeah, in Kampala I have a lot of things to do. That's why I woke up a bit early. The weather is not so good outside. It has been raining this side. And the Kampala is always flooding. So let us hope when we reach Kampala it will not be as usual. Because when it floods, the cars always get stuck. Everything is always Kampala is always very bad when it rains. <laughs> So because of the traffic the other side, we decided to branch in a, another route. Yeah, so that we try and not take a lot, long time on the road. Whoever knows Kampala, you know the traffic is always, Kampala is always congested. So we are taking another route and see if we can be on time. Again, this way is we got just stuck. We ran off from the main road to come this side thinking this is the going to be the quickest. Or there would be no traffic, but again, it's very bad. Welcome to Kampala, everyone. Where you have to be the foot has to be on your brakes and yeah you have to look carefully for not your camera to be taken or your phone to be taken in Kampala you have to be very careful so congested and thieves are everywhere like now if I'm holding the camera the windows has to be closed and my phones has to be very far yeah the traffic is so bad everything so we have reached our first destination and i'm going to take the dogs in this one and kov kov is behind you know he's scared of the car he's always vomiting and doing everything so 
-hmm. He's behind there sleeping. You didn't see him the whole journey because he's not a car dog. Come, come. So I've just finished dropping Kovu and Leki at the vets. I want to go and pick the stuff at Salabed and then later go to Nira and after that I'll come and pick them. <laughs> So I didn't know that Salabed moved. I came to Salabed is a place is a place where we used to pick the stuff. And yeah, they moved to a different place. So that's where we are going now. First Ugandan underground way, lot. Picking things from Salabet, and now I'm heading to Nira. So I'm all showered, I'm feeling slightly human again, but I'm still just so tired. I'm pretty sure it's the mattress that I'm sleeping on. It's a new mattress, but it's a cheap mattress, you know, it's not, it's just like cheap foam. Um, I'm just waking up through the night because my back is hurting so badly and I wake up in the morning and I can't even get out of bed for ages, like it takes ages to move because my back hurts so bad. Um, so I just think I'm not, yeah, getting a good night's sleep on the mattress, so super tired, but yeah, anyway, um, going to head now to a coffee shop, I have a coffee that I very much need and get some work done. It's one thing his friends have gone somewhere fun without him, but they've only gone to the vet, baby. It's not fun. It's not fun. Home, home now. So. <laughs> ended up staying longer just because I was really on a roll with getting stuff. Well, I didn't actually get as much done as I needed to get done, but I like got a lot planned and got my brain organized a little bit, um, which I could do when I didn't have these guys like this. Um, and so this we, paid, we paid the teacher to stay longer and entertain the kids, it's essentially do some babysitting basically. Um, but someone didn't have a great time without me, I guess is not used to me going off without them. Not, it wasn't super happy and it's not super happy now. These guys, however, absolutely yeah. fine, aren't you? These are peanuts. They are peanuts. Yes. I thought, you know what, it'd be nice to chat to you a little Jones. bit on camera. Sally, yes. because often when you guys have been on camera recently, you don't even talk. But actually, you don't stop talking in real life, do you? Huh? George, who do you reckon is the loudest member of the family? <laughs> mummy. No, that's not who George is pointing to. It's Daddy. That's not who George is pointing to. It's George. That's not who George is pointing to. It's me. Yes. 
I reckon she does not stop, do you? Yes. You, got, you have peanuts all over your mouth. Um, yeah, he a, she actually gives Adam a run for her money, doesn't she, baby? Is Tally even louder than you? <laughs> you reckon? All right, George, here we go. Who does, here's, here's some questions. Who does the best listening in the family? It's me. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to say it because he wants to be humble, but who do you think it is? You think it's me? You're pointing to me? I meant out of the children, really. Out of the children. And Adam. Adam, oh, that is very sweet. Adam, Adam, yeah, he does pretty good listening when he wants to, doesn't he? But I was also, I'd also say Georgie. And and you also do good listening, Georgie, Georgie, don't you? Yes, And who, Georgie? Yes, Who is very cute but is secretly the troublemaker of the family? Who's who secretly is the seventh one? He's very cute. No, no, very cute and small, but actually causes lots of trouble, like drawing on dogs and things like that. Who does that? Ooh, there he is. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> anyway, I have tutoring in a little bit, but um, and Josh is on the way back now from Kampala <laughs> with Dan, and so everyone is very excited to see Dan, aren't you guys? Yeah. We are happy for you, Dan. He's not really crying. We are happy Everyone is happy to see Dan. Dan has been very, very, very sick in the hospital. He has been on oxygen because Mom, I'm pretty sure I've got over... He has been. I'm pretty sure I've got over COVID, which is what the kids have had. Um, and then it went to Bazali and then it went to the kids in the village. Um, and Dan, with his condition, obviously not ideal. But we're all very excited to see Dan as we are taking and actually Quite a few of the Cedar kids are likely arriving here later tonight. Adam, are you looking forward to seeing Dan? No, yeah, you are, aren't you? Everyone loves Dan. This one obviously worked hard today because it's only about six o'clock and he's already fast asleep. Where are you going? Where are you going? And this is bread and banana. Bread and banana. Are you having a snack, you two? We ate one. You ate all your dinner, didn't you? So now you're having a snack, yes? Yes. So I have finished tutoring now. My, I was meant to have two sessions, but my second session is one to one and they didn't turn up. They didn't turn up on Monday either. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, so now I'm just doing a little bit more video editing because I didn't get everything I needed to get done. Done in the cafe. The kids are all fast asleep and I'm waiting for Josh to turn up with Dan and then after that he's actually heading to the village. It wasn't the plan but he's heading to the village to pick up some more of the other kids so he is going to be back extremely late and we are getting up at like five in the morning tomorrow. Um, but yeah, still looking forward to seeing Dan although I think he'll be really tired by the time he gets here. Um. Hello. Hi. Bring out the camera, but I know Dan's probably asleep, isn't he? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, babe. Hi. I am. <laughs> I think you get so tall. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you in like so long. This is the longest I've gone without ever seeing you. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Oh, darling. Right. Shall we go and bathe and put cream on things? Darling, we took you we took Babidi. Was he there? He knew, knew it was in December. We took Babidi, Babidi John. Yeah. Oysoir. Yes, and now. Since so the same school. Yeah. But tomorrow. We'll smaller ones, yeah. Very early in the morning, so you need to sleep now. He is going now. You get to sleep. He is going now. I'm sleep. going now to Mayuge yeah. to pick Kenneth. Huh? You cold, darling? Emma. You cold. Got hot water. You've been bathing hot water. Huh? We are home now. We're done. Emily is. <laughs> Emily is going to. <laughs> Don't careful not to film that way. Emily is going to bathe. Dan. He's having a shower and going to wash his hair and things. Yes. Then for me, I'm heading to the village very quickly. It's not that pick. quickly because it's a good hour and a half, two hours away. To pick the other kids. He's going to be back at like three in the morning. So we can head to Kampala and Tebe. Abe's sick. He got a stick in the I'm day. Sick. Adam has woken up. To say hi to Dan, and Dan is borrowing Adam's onesie. <laughs> oh, lovely boys. You're welcome. Yeah, so cute. Right, should we go to bed because it's super late, yeah? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Hey, Danny boy, how old are you now? Mm, 11. 11 years old. Can you believe it? 11 is so, so old. He's bigger than me. Mm. 
Alright, night boys. Night night. Bit of a squish. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Have to feed these two Anticovs. Yes, because they are probably absolutely starving by now. And you cobble. So it's almost midnight. I'm very, very tired and Josh is going to be so tired because he really has just gone to the village and it's going to be like really really late but we will explain everything that's going on why we are picking all these children up in a, another video for now i'm going to end this one here hope you enjoyed it um and i'll see you in the next one bye guys